Hi, I'm Carolyn from O2BStampin.com. If you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. And if you already follow me, welcome back. Today I want to show this cute treat bag. Um, it's filled with one inch gumballs, but you could also fill it with marshmallows, uh, mini marshmallows if you couldn't find the gumballs. I happen to find these on the internet. Um, so anyway, I think it's cute and this is one actually that I've made with some retired designer paper so I'm going to show you how to make one with some current paper. This uh, paper that I'm going to use today is actually from the Cherry on Top designer series paper pack. I'm also going to use a 4 by 12 inch um, Whisper White cardstock. And I'm going to score that at five and a quarter. So I'm going to pull this out here. Okay, so five and a quarter. By and then also I'm going to slide it down and do it at six and three quarters. Now if you were to want a larger base, because that's what I've just scored, is the base. So it's a, uh, what, about an inch and a half um, across. So if you wanted something that would stand maybe a little firmer, you can just make that base a little wider. So the next thing that I'd like to do is to attach my designer paper. And now mine doesn't have a pattern on it, but if yours has a pattern, be sure you're looking at that, it's going to sit this way. Okay, and the next thing that I'm going to use is my Big Shot and my Circle um, Framelits. Now, I do want to show you this particular one is the fourth large, I should say the fourth smallest. You can also use the third smallest to cut the snowman's um, head or you can use a one and a half inch circle punch. So I'm going to go get my Big Shot, be right back. Okay, so I've got the Big Shot and I just wanted to show you that you want to make sure that you have your placement with the uh, this uh, framelit pretty close to the bottom so that you have room to put your other circles to create your snowman and you're still going to have uh, the nose here um, at the top so just to kind of make sure that this is only maybe a quarter of an inch um, from the bottom of your designer series paper and while I have this all laid out I will tell you this is um, uh, from the one and three quarter circle punch one and a half inch circle punch, or like I said, it can also be the third smallest circle in the um, circle dies. I think I call them circle framelits. Okay, and this is the fourth largest. So I'm going to take these off, put my other cutting pad on the top. and line that through. Okay, so now we've punched that out. Oh, make sure that you look at it from side to side here. I can see I don't exactly have it in the middle. Shame on me, my bad. Okay, then I'm going to take my other two pieces. I'm also going to take my Sahara Sand ink pad and a sponge. And I'm just going to lightly 
give some color to the outside edges of the snowman circles. Okay, that'll give them a little bit more uh, definition. Then I'm just going to find my adhesive, <laughs> attach these. You're going to want, oh, I messed up. You're going to want this one to hang over just a little bit, and so you don't want adhesive in that section on the back. This one on top again. Why that <laughs> that being off is throwing me off just a little bit, but that's okay. We'll just make him a crooked snowman like that. That way he'll be crooked on both sides. We'll give him a little personality. Okay, and then I'm just going to use my paper pumpkin cardstock. I'm going to freehand a nose. And it's a little big. Cut that down a little bit. Oh yeah, too big. Um, actually, I can move this head down just a bit more. I think. Yeah, that might be better. Maybe even the whole guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> You can see the real me in action, mistakes and all. Okay, there we go, that's better. And it'd probably be easier to use a little bit of uh, Tombow glue on the nose rather than snail, just because of the shape. There we go. So you're gonna wanna line up the tip of his nose with the top of the designer series paper. There we go. And then to add the mouth, I'm going to use my um, Project Life journaling pen. There are actually two um, Project Life journaling pens. So can you see right here? I can hold them there. I don't think you're going to be able to see that. Oh yeah, maybe you can. There's an 01 on the bottom one and an 05 on the top one. So that's the thickness of the tip. I just wanted to let you know I used the 05. So I just free-handed um, his mouth with a big smile. And then came back and put these little dimples. And that was all I did on the face. Okay, then, turn this over. We're gonna add the gumballs. So I've got this uh, nine, no, I don't have nine, I have 12 gumballs in a cello bag. And at first I just rolled the cello bag over, but I realized that when I did that, these little uh, ends stuck out the side of the bag. So instead, I am now, lay it down, turning those corners in and then rolling it twice towards me. Taking out a stapler, putting two staples in to hold it shut. Then I took, slide this out of the way. Um, I used sticky strip on this. You could use uh, the tear and tape, uh, the new tear and tape that we have. I had a lot of sticky strip left over, so I thought this would be the perfect project to use it on. bone folder. Go over that just a little bit. 
and peel it off. Then what I do is I actually stand this up to make sure it's going to go where I want it to go. So when I get it in the spot I want it, I then just press it down and it attaches. I mulled around a little bit so that these pieces down here aren't sticking out. And I took another piece of sticky strip, put it on this side. I like putting it right over the staples. Cut that off. Press that down with my bone folder. That just helps to release that red tape. Now if you have fingernails, you don't even really need the paper snips to do that, or you can use a paper piercer. Again, I like to stand it up, put the two pieces together so that the corners match. Then I kind of, whoops, that side slipped. There we go. Then I kind of just push it together at the same time I kind of push it down so that I know that it's going to stand up okay. Alright, then to add a little bling bling, um, I took a piece of Whisper White, the um, stamp Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow from the Happy Scenes. Uh, stamp set. What's this one here? Let it snow. I love that one for the snowman. I took my early espresso ink pad. And stamped down towards the bottom. I want to need, uh, leave enough to the right side to cut a little banner here. And obviously I've got plenty on the top. I'm just going to, I want to leave enough at the top to use my clothespin. And then I'm just going to snip this. I just want, don't want it to be really big. So I'm just going to hand trim that down a little bit. You could sponge the edges of that if you prefer, but I'm not going to. I think sponging always helps elements to stand out a bit, but okay. Then I have a piece of the gold sequin trim. I've been using this like crazy this Christmas just for trim. It's just, I just love, love, love it. I'm going to use a glue dot and put my glue dot grab this little banner put my glue dot right on the top end of that so that my sequins will just stick right to it I'm going to kind of uh, make them a little bit crooked there we go okay and then I am going to take a piece of this red extra I mean red oh goodness a long weekend um, orange extra thick baker's twine. Now, I checked the catalog to see if we still carry this before I started taping and unfortunately we don't. However, we do have the vanilla at this point or you could just use whatever you happen to have on hand um, you know, just to bling it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be exactly what I'm using. Okay, then I, you could use another glue dot if you wanted to here, or you could actually, actually I am going to use a glue dot. You can even tie the ribbon around the clothespin. Um, that might be easier for some. I'm just going to take a glue dot, stick that on there, and then put my paper, or paper pumpkin, my pumpkin, um, Baker's twine right there. Close that like that. Just 
stick this on the top of my bag. And voila! Is that not adorable? I just think that that is so cute. don't know how to hold it so that you can see it. Definitely can't see it that way, but that's how it would be. So I'm making a lot of these for a craft show that I'm going to be doing, but I thought they would also just make adorable little uh, gifts for coworkers, children in your family. Who wouldn't love to get that? So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I would love to have you subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button below, and to join me on my blog for more ideas and inspiration. Feel free to leave me a comment if you've enjoyed this video, or a thumbs up. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you again soon.